Hey Daniel, how are you, man? I'm I'm very good. I'm very good. I'm I'm just came I came from the gym like one hour ago. So I'm I'm doing this, you know. I expect I'm always happy off the gym. <laughs> I'm always happy happy after being to the gym. Man, congratulations on the release of the Sage. Um as you can see, you're always rocking a tank top, oh, man. You make it look so good. If I were one of them, I wouldn't look that good. <laughs> well, you know, I spend so much time in the gym. Every single day I'm in the gym. So it's like I try to try to stay in shape the best I can for this, you know. So it's a, it's a duty. You try to make something, you know, and, and try to deliver 100% on everything. Fitness. Uh, and 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 uh, the action bit and all this yeah so your physique is phenomenal like it's one of the mainstays of the movie or of the movies you're in what inspired you to start hitting the gym have you been do hitting the gym from such a young age yeah i i started going to the gym when i was seven years old or even younger so i tell you why my dad used to be a bodybuilder and he owned a gym. So when I was almost born in the gym, so I was there like a kid. And um, I, I, like, like already when I was seven, I kind of knew how to do squats and all this because I was watching all these this big bodybuilders in the gym, you know. And um, because of it, over the years, you know, it's become like a natural thing because it's like, like, in my family, like all my, my, my siblings is training and my dad is training and, and my cousin is training and my, both my cousin competed in powerlifting. I, I, I compete in powerlifting, bodybuilding, it, a part of, it's like, it's part of my family, you know, kind of, when I go home for Christmas, you know, we wake up, it, like in Norway, we celebrate mostly on the 24th, you know, it's like in the evening and, um, every um, in the morning we wake up my brother picked me up we all go to the gym and have a good session together <laughs> it's the start of the christmas day in my family That's so amazing. it's 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 it's, it's, it's um, yeah it's just always been with me so kind of it's um yeah it's it's it's, it's, it's just like for me it's like like eating sleeping breathing is just a part of my life it's always been and I enjoy it, you know, going to gym and um, yeah, it make me happy. So would you be on like that crazy Hugh Jackman, like 8,000 calories a day sort of thing? No. So I've done those things. So when I was bodybuilding and competing, you have off season, you know, when you try to gain more muscles. Yeah. So, I, so, so um, I had those period where I had to gain. And I didn't do 8,000 calories, but I've done like six, 7,000 calories. And um, that was, that's hard because, you know, it's, it's okay for a couple of days. You eat, you know, and you, you filled as kind of, but when you're done in a week, two weeks, you don't want to eat anymore. You're like, oh, food again. It's like, and then like, and, and uh, no. I, I prefer not to do the eight thousand calories if I can do. So. Now I'm more lean. Like I, I, I don't try to build more muscles. I'm, I just try to stay in shape on around nineteen, ninety-five kilos. And um, I'm, I'm probably eating like three thousand calories a day or something, you know. And that's that's fine. That's not the that's easy. But what attracted you to the action genre? Um, it was when I was young, and what I, I remember probably um, so he's been with me all the time. But I remember when I saw Commando first time I saw Commando, I was probably nine years old, and I saw Arnold in the opening scene, he's carrying this big, uh, oh, big um, wood, you know, with a cigar and and and, and chainsaw. And it's like, wow, this is how I want to look like. You know, this is cool. And then, like, probably a, a year after, I watched um, Rocky. You know, and Rocky was so inspiring. It's like, 
you know, and 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 all this just put me on this path. It's like this is something I want to do. I still had this bodybuilding thing, so I kind of there was a competition in my myself. It's like I want to do bodybuilding, I want to do acting, but I should do this. And um, it's it's kind of stayed with me. And 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 um, for the first couple of years, I did a lot of bodybuilding for like until my 27, 28. And then I started getting a lot of injuries. You know, you train so hard for so long and, and you start getting like problem with the shoulders. So maybe it's like I had a small tear in my my tights and stuff. So I kind of knew like if I continue down this road, I'm going to be so injured. And that's when I kind of stopped thinking, okay, maybe I'm going gonna, gonna to say, okay, this bodybuilding part, I'm, I'm done with it as, as a competitor. And I start enjoy it, just enjoy the training and, and, and the lifestyle and stop focus on my secondary and I can move this. And that's what I did. So when, and, and I'm very focused. And when I put a goal, I go for it 100%. You know, so that's what happened was when, when I kind of, yeah, should I do it? But when I decided, it's all in until I make it, you know. So... It took a couple of years and then I, you know, I, I came over to London from Norway, did a few stunt courses in London. And in London, I met Ivana Chubbuck. Ivana Chubbuck is one of the greatest acting coaches. Um, she, she's, she's the coach of Brad Pitt, Halle Berry, Charlie's Theron and all this. And she, was, she had a seminar in London. Uh, she, she's from LA. And I met her. And I said, I, I would love to, to come. Or someone introduced me that knew me, that knew her. And they, they, they kind of, they said, well, you should meet Daniel. He's like, he's like the Norwegian Rocky. <laughs> so that kind of gave, gave her my attention. So, um, and then she said, oh, really? And then we start talking and I said, I, I want to learn properties because I'm going to do films and all this. I said, okay. If you want, come over to, to train with me, you know? And uh, three months later, I was in LA, got training with her. And um, yeah, and then, then I went back to London and started doing small things on films. Whatever it takes to learn, you know? I could do stunts, I could do extra. I could be behind the camera, on set, big films, whatever, just to train, learn. And when I was ready, I started making my own movies. I'm making short movies, good quality short movies. And then further down the line, I'm making feature movies. And now I'm sitting here with you. And what attracted you to the stage? Was it the fact that it was sort of like a mixture of a Schwarzenegger, Willis, and Stallone movie all in one? Yeah, so it's it's a, is is mostly Arnold and Stallone and then to a degree from them. So it's like, you know, those Arnold movies with the Commando, Conan, Predator, Terminator. And then you had um, Stallone with Rambo, Rocky, Cliffhanger. You know, Cliffhanger is amazing. And um, then, you know, I saw the Van Damme movies, Bloodsport. Uh, all this kicking and it was in good shape and all this. There was a combination of all those things. And later on, it's like, you see Die Hard. Um, Mad Max, um, The Gladiator, I, I really love it. The Gladiator with Russell Crowe is, is, is one of the best movies ever made. Um, that's one of those movies I can see 10 times and still enjoy it as much. So all this put me in, in, in this path um, and it's influenced me a lot, yes. And there's quite a few physical fight scenes throughout the stage. Did you get the, did you perform them all by yourself? So, yeah, um, what I, I do, because I have some stunt training. So I did a lot of stunt training and, and, and I've done military training, all this. So I know how to do those things. So I, I, I prefer to do it myself. But also sometimes you understand when you become a lead and there's something called insurance on a film, you know, and then you have to be a little bit more careful than you you plan to be so yes i do it myself but i have to be 
you know, I kind of found a good balance where I'm like, if there's some high risk stuff of insurance reason, I may not have to let someone else do it because if I get injured, there's no more movie, you know? Yeah. So, um, but, but, but in most cases, everything is fighting or just like shooting and all these basic stunts. I do all those things myself, but it, it, I don't think there's anything on disease I, I couldn't do myself. But let's say there's a big fall from 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 a building or something. I wouldn't do that, that sort of things, you know, because of, of of those respect of the team uh, for the film and of insurance reasons. The stage, um, spoiler alert. The end and leaves it open for more adventures of your character. Would the siege be something you would like to maybe sort of start a franchise out of? It it always depends on the success of the movie. So let's say this become a huge success and and everyone is happy with the result, like the distribution company, the producers, everyone is happy. Yes, then it's a potentially could happen. But we still a little bit too early to know. So in a couple of months, we may know, you know, and maybe in a couple of months we see, okay, this is just killing it. Okay, let's do another one. That's a possibility, but we don't know. But I would say always if it's a, if it becomes successful, then there's always room to make sequels. I'm not a fan necessarily of making hundred sequels. I'm like, I have this thing. I think it's like if you do sequels. Let's say best of three. So let's do three of the max, you know. Yeah. I don't like when it's eight and ten and fifteen. That's too much because you use it too much. And then kind of you hold it out and and, and people start, okay, it's the same over and over and over again. But like you could do like three, maybe, you know, two, three, you know, if it's successful. If it's so so it depends on where we are like in in six months, you know. And then after so that's what I would say. After the siege, do you have any more action movies lined up? Yes, I do. Are you allowed so, to tell us about um, any? So, yes and no. A couple of them I can't talk about at this stage, but all is action. Um, but there is, um, I'm, 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 I'm doing a, a movie that's announced and that's Fight Pride. So that's um, like the name, the title says, it's about fighting, but it's a drama movie with fighting. It's not like it's not like like um, Boyka. That's just bam, 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 bam. That's I, I enjoy that movie, but it's more like um like the warrior that sort of thing. It's a drama story with proper fighting. When, is so that already that's, 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 is that already made, or is that going into production? No, no, we're gonna make it. Uh, I'm waiting for uh, exact dates. But that that's announced. I think it's all the finances in place and all. So, yeah, that's amazing. And you're in shape for it anyway. So are you ready to go? I I am. Yeah, I'm. I'm shape wise. I'm ready. But of course, when you're gonna do a movie, you need like a little bit preparation. Yeah, it's um, when you're gonna shoot three to five scenes a day, you don't have time to sleep so much. It's, 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 it's brutal and mentally. So you need to be mentally prepared and you need to be, you, you need to have done a lot of rehearsal, you know, all this dialogue and all the scenes you need to do. So, but physical, I'm ready for it, you know. And then my final so. question with you would be, out of all of the action actors that are out at the minute, who would you love to do a team up with the most? So, Again, from from from, uh, I would say the most cool thing to would be to do something with Stallone. Yeah, probably. Um, Arnold as well, but like Stallone because he is a filmmaker. He writes, he directs. He's a good. He 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 do the whole package. He would be amazing. Um, but he's he's one of the older guys. So if 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 you talk about the newer guys, I would say. Um, Bautista, I think Bautista is cool. Uh, he is he's amazing, you know. Is is is. I think his skill level is very high. Yeah, he's, he's just all over great, you know, and he's cool. I think of those guys today. It's like, if I could pick, I, I think I would go with him. 
Well, Daniel, thank you so much for your time, man. It's been an awesome talk and stage with you. And I think you would agree when I say that it is an action-packed, explosive, bull-to-the-wall 80 throwback. Oh, thank you. Yeah. It, it, I, I, that's what we try to make. We try to make something that's like a little bit inspired with what we want to see as kids, you know? It's like, okay, this is something we would love to see when we were young. So let's make something that we want to see. That's, there's a lot of people that's like me and, 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 and we grew up with it and we want to see more of this. And there's not so many of those movies made anymore. So when it come, it's like, there's something different today, you know? Yeah, definitely. So, so, yeah. Keep knocking them out, Daniel, and I'll keep watching them. Okay, thank you. Thank you okay, so thank much. You so much. Thank you. See you later. Okay, take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.